Well, howdy folks, it's E-Chip with Contentment Channel. Hope you're well. Today I want to tell you about uh, a trip I made down to the river. Uh, yesterday's video, uh, you'll remember uh, I was picking up trash on the road headed down to the river, and that's where the video ended. And uh, this next section is where I went, actually went down to the river and tested out a product that I promised you I would keep you up to date on. <laughs> Robber and I uh, live in a 384 square foot temporary house, we call it, uh, in the Intermountain West, where we uh, live an off-grid life. We're transitioning from city life to off-grid. In case you've never seen one of our videos before, welcome. And stick around. There's a lot to see and do. Please check out past videos because we have a huge variety of things. Um, a couple of videos ago on the workbench video, the outdoor workbench video, I told you uh, about this little product, little bug spray uh, that's all natural that was given to me at the Mother Earth News Fair last October. And I told you I'd update you on it and let you know what I think. Well, I gave it its real test down at the river today because there are about 4 billion hungry mosquitoes right down there uh, in the area where I went. And so here's some footage of me using this down there on the river. Okay. So I don't know if you can see or not. You see the shadows maybe of them on this little H post. But I am surrounded by mosquitoes right now. I am just surrounded by them. They're above my head, swarming around. And they're over there. And they're just, they're all over. Maybe you can see some over there by the fence. And so far, None of them, that I can tell, have landed on me. I don't know. Maybe you can see some in my hair, my shirt. I don't know. But uh, they came flying around my head, you know. I mean, they were, they were wanting me. But so far, I mean, I think one or two just touched me and immediately left. But so far, this is working pretty good. Okay. I don't know if you can hear them. I don't know if you can see them. But right above my head is an enormous swarm of mosquitoes. I mean, they're all over. Okay. They're trying to land on me. When I stuck my arm up there, maybe you can see this. When I stuck my arm up there, uh, I mean, are they landing? They're not landing on me. These are mosquitoes. <laughs> they are not, they touch me and then they leave. Uh, and in fact, they avoid my arm. They're coming back down again. Let's see. I mean, they're avoiding me. <laughs> That's something else. I mean, I'm right down here next to the river, you know, where it's the mosquitoes are really thick and hungry. But uh, there's one here on my shirt where I missed spraying. He's trying to get me. Gotcha. Um... But, uh, yeah, I mean, it appears... Okay, here's some right in front. I mean, they touch my arm and they leave immediately. You know, it appears this stuff works pretty well because that's a lot of hungry mosquitoes right there. Well, here we are at the river. Mosquitoes are not really bothering me. They were hanging around at that fence over there when I climbed around. I mean, that's when you saw all the thick ones, but they're not really bothering me. But river's looking like the river. There's the beaver lodge over there. You know, we haven't seen the beaver swimming through the water in a couple of years. And I only hope that, uh, you know, hunters or somebody didn't take him out. But uh, it would be cool to be able to see him. I can't tell if the lodge is, you know, abandoned now or what. But uh, anyway... River's looking good. Not very clear, but this is the snow melt season. Oh, look, here's a little bottle of some. Oh, look at that. A fish jumped in the, fish jumped in the river. A little bottle of something there. You know, these holes are made by the beaver. Uh, and, uh, you know, he, he works all through this area. 
that's part of the reason why it's all you know dammed up that may actually be an old lodge right there um but uh yeah spring comes late here you know it's uh june uh may it's memorial day and uh you can see this grass is just starting to come up well you know a couple of years ago we sat out here it was really really tall so it's just starting to come up you know, we used to be able to jump across over there and now we can't but you can see all the elk uh prints in here and deer prints and stuff critters running around so sit here for a minute see if we can see any, acti any activity from the beaver very peaceful down here the swifts or swallows or martins or whatever you call them are flying around here they were flying really close to the water just snatching up insects and, uh, there's a breeze but, uh, it's very quiet very peaceful love it love this place but you know what they need to build a bridge across there <laughs> And these trees you see growing here, they're what are called short leaf cottonwood. This is about the only tree that grows around here, except for crab apples and a couple of others. Okay. Right here on the bank of the river, a little area here, you can see those little claws. Paws, those are pretty good size. My guess is a raccoon or something. But, uh,. You know, this would be ordinarily called a be a, be a beaver slide or something, but I don't see any recent activity. You know, where his tail's come dragging up here. There's some activity there at the beaver lodge. I don't know if it's a fish or if it's beaver. Look at you. Now go eat the mosquitoes. Go eat that mos go eat those mosquitoes, dragonfly. You can't be full yet. So as you can see, uh, when I stuck my arm up into the into the air, I mean there were I don't know probably there were I don't know a couple hundred mosquitoes at least directly above my head, not about this far from my head, just hovering, and they were loud. I don't know if you could hear them on the video, but they were pretty loud making all kinds of racket. They were coming down close to my head, but not one, only one, one ever landed on me. And he landed right here on my shirt. I think that was in the video when I smacked him because I didn't have any of that stuff on my shirt. But uh, I, before I went down there, I applied this product and I put it on my arms, neck, head, behind my ears, and my shirt front and back around the shoulder. Um, I even did the undersides of my arms. And I went walking, and you saw those mosquitoes did not touch my arm at all. Or if they did, the moment they got on, they left. Um, because they, they don't like this stuff. So anyway, Robert and I were at the Mother Earth News Fair in Topeka, Kansas. We have a video on that. Um, last October. And when we were there, we met Dan Chiras and his wife, Linda Stewart. And they... Uh, Dan Chiris, some of you may have heard of him. He's he's very well known in the sustainable architecture, sustainable building, uh, off-grid home, earthship, uh, you know, just all kinds of earth and natural and sustainability um, projects. He's written several books on the subject. He has a degree in medicine, and he's also been a professor of environmental science and written textbooks on environmental science. So he's, he's a pretty sharp guy. And... Um, Anyway, we were at the booth uh, talking with he and his wife, Linda, and we were explaining about our property out here because Dan uh, and Linda have lived here uh, in Colorado before. And uh, I was just explaining to him how the mosquitoes are just incredible out here and how we were having to spray ourselves down with permethrin just to keep them away. And we were having to constantly spray around here just to keep them up because they were relentless. Um, I don't know what it is about my blood and mosquitoes. Uh, apparently, I have the right combination of CO2, butyric acid, and, and, and uh, you know, red blood cells that they like. I don't know. But 
Um, they they eat me alive. When other people are standing around unbothered at all, I'm just going nuts with them. Anyway, I was explaining that. And she said, well, try some of this stuff. Buy a, buy a little vial of this, take it, and try it. And um, so I expressed my, honestly, I expressed my skepticism. And I said, Linda, I said, you know, I, no offense, but I am really skeptical of all natural products because so many that I've run across either don't work at all or don't work well or don't work for long. They're just not very effective. And she goes, okay. And she gave me this tester off the table. It's a sample that she had there for people. And it's full. Um, and she said, try this. Just take it and try it. If you like it, I sure, I'm sure you'll be calling me for more. And so I tried it. I tried it the other day with the mayflies. I tried it today with the mosquitoes. And you saw those mosquitoes really didn't bother me at all the whole time I was down there in the river. And the plus side is that I smell really good. I smell like clove and peppermint and licorice tea. Um, I kind of like the smell. Now, if you go to their website, Evergreen Natural Works, and look at their solutions page or something like that, this is where you'll find this. And then they also have another product that they call Bug Off. I think it's called Bug Off, and it has lemongrass and peppermint and, I don't know, maybe chamomile or, I don't know, something. Um, so I think I will get on the website and order one of those Bug Off, and then I'll, I'll continue to use this until it runs out, probably get some more. But, you know, I bring it up to you because, not because, I mean, Linda and Dan have no idea I'm talking about them at all. I have not talked to them since the Mother Earth News Fair. But I did promise them I would try this. And so, Linda, good product. I mean, I'm impressed uh, so far. So, you know, I encourage you to go and check this out um, and, uh, and get yourself a little pile of it. I mean, it seems like just a couple squirts is all you really need, so it should last a long time. And then, uh, you know, we'll just go from here and see how it is. Oh, by the way, uh, their website also has all kinds of other things, candles and lotions and, you know, stuff like that. But uh, anyway, I, I just wanted to tell you about it. Wanted to let you get some, get to see some footage of the river. And, uh, and uh, thanks for listening. I hope you're well. And I uh, hope your family's well. And stick around because we've got some pretty interesting videos coming up this summer. So we appreciate your watching. Please don't forget to like share, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. Thanks a lot. Take care.